If you're a chocolate lover, I've got the perfect dessert for you. Today, we are going to be making a Black Forest inspired petite gateau that consists of layers of a decadent chocolate sponge cake, crunchy chocolate crumble, a vanilla whipped cream, cherries, cherry chocolate mousse, and it's all going to be sitting in a gorgeous and elegant tempered chocolate shell. So if that seems like something you might be interested in, keep watching. The first component that we are going to get started with in this recipe is the chocolate biscuit. This biscuit is super thin, super decadent, and full of chocolate flavor. First, we are going to place 22 grams or one and a half tablespoons of butter in a bowl with 95 grams or two thirds cup of chocolate and microwave that in 30 second increments until it is completely melted. The chocolate that I am using for the sponge is Cayambe, which is a dark 72% chocolate by Michelle Clouzel. In the bowl of our stand mixer, we are going to place 90 grams or three large egg whites with 32 grams or one and a half tablespoons of sugar and whip that to medium peaks. Once we achieve medium peaks, we are going to quickly add in 18 grams or one large egg yolk and mix that just until it is combined. Now that we have both bases ready, we are going to combine the two. I am pouring the chocolate into the egg whites and folding it until it is combined. Now we can spread this onto a small sheet tray and we are going to bake this at 350 for six to eight minutes. This biscuit bakes really, really quickly and is super moist, so a toothpick will not come out clean when you try to check for a doneness. The way that you'll know that this cake is done is if the top is matte and when you touch the top of the cake, it doesn't stick onto your fingers. Now let's move on to our chocolate crumble. In the bowl of our stand mixer, we are going to sift together 80 grams or two thirds cup of flour and 25 grams or a quarter cup of cocoa powder. And then we are going to add in 50 grams or a quarter cup of sugar, two grams or half a teaspoon of salt, and 100 grams or seven tablespoons of room temperature butter. And we are going to paddle this mixture until a crumble begins to form. Then we are going to transfer this onto a sheet tray and bake it for seven minutes. After seven minutes, we're gonna pull it out of the oven and using either a bench scraper or a bowl scraper like this one, we are going to start cutting up the crumble into smaller chunks. And then we are going to repeat this process two to three more times until the crumble begins to appear dry and crumbly. Now let's move on to our chocolate cherry mousse. For this mousse, we are going to need a jar of sour cherries. What I'm going to do is strain some of the cherry liquid in a bowl. We will need 80 grams or a third cup of this cherry juice. Then I'm going to place the juice in a pot with 57 grams or a quarter cup of cream and gently begin to heat the mixture. Then we are going to begin to temper the mixture into 36 grams or two to three egg yolks depending on the size of the yolks you're using and we are going to begin to cook this until the mixture becomes thick enough that it can coat the back of your spoon or the base of your pot like this. We are going to remove this from the heat, then we're going to add in two sheets of bloomed gelatin, and then we are going to pour that over 160 grams or one cup of dark chocolate. The chocolate for this step is different than the one I'm using for the sponge cake. For the mousse, I am using Vanuari, which is a dark chocolate also for Michelle Clouzel, but this one is a 63%. Then we are going to set this aside to cool while we whip up 231 grams or one cup of heavy whipping cream to medium peaks. And finally, we can fold the two bases together, place this in a piping bag fitted with a star tip, and we can move on to our vanilla whipped cream. Okay, so our last component is this vanilla whipped cream. It is super, super simple. It's just 154 grams or two thirds cup of heavy cream. 14 grams or two tablespoons of 10x sugar, and one vanilla bean pod. If you're not able to get vanilla beans, you can use vanilla extract. And we are going to whip that to medium peaks, place it in a piping bag, and we are ready to assemble our dessert. Now, the real star of the show are these super elegant tempered chocolate cups from Michelle Clouzel. They sell all different shapes and sizes, but this one is definitely my favorite. It's thin, it's in perfect temper, and it will elevate any dessert. We are going to cut our sponge to fit inside of our chocolate cups. Since there is no gluten in this sponge cake, it's much easier to work with it if you place it in the freezer a few hours before you start cutting. Then we are going to place our sponge into the cup, followed by some of our chocolate crumble. 
then a layer of whipped cream and then we are going to take some sour cherries and place them on a paper towel to drain and then quarter them and place those into the shell. Lastly, we are going to pipe in our chocolate mousse. Place some cherries and more crumble to cover any gaps of the cream that might be shining through. I am also placing some crisp white chocolate pearls and gold leaf to finish it all off and we are all ready to dig in. That is it for another recipe. This is the perfect dessert to impress any of your dinner guests or the perfect dessert if you're working in a restaurant. It is simple to make, elegant, balanced, and all of the components can be made ahead of time. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this one and I will see you guys next time. Bye! like subscribe button and comment down below of what you want me to do